Let's get this started. In three, two, one. What is up, all my geeks and gamers? TechGeek1019 here, coming at you with a tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to stream with XSplit and the Elgato HD60 on a decent to mid end computer. So if you're like me, you have a pretty pretty good computer. It mine's an Alienware 13 laptop. It's pretty good. It has an i7 processor and an Nvidia uh 750M uh GPU card. But sometimes that's still not enough to stream at 1080 60 FPS. So here's some settings and stuff that uh I figured out would allow you to stream still high end quality but not tax your CPU so much. So to begin, if you go into the tools and general settings, we can disable the arrow theme like I have currently, and that will help you. If you have a GPU, go into advanced, and you'll see GPU anti-aliasing. Turn it on MSAA and sample count 4 quality 0. This is what XSplit recommends. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly set up a uh, the Elgato here. We go into Webcam and Capture and Elgato Capture Card. Go up to here. Um, so, I don't know how I'm going to record this, but we have our thing here. As you can see, I switched to it and we have um, the game capture right here. I think this should already be muted. Good. Um, so if we go into here, I know how I can do this. I can add this to this scene. We'll have the little capture down there. We'll keep it at the bottom window. Um, so we have the capture right here. If you look in the settings here, we have, uh, audio input built in none. We'll leave it at that. You can now put it to the stream or just the system. Another thing here you see is offset milliseconds. Now sometimes a thing that I have problems with is for some reason when I am using the delay feature for desktop audio on this and streaming this at the same time, the audio seems to get delayed another 700 milliseconds from the video, which means it's 700 milliseconds behind. The way to fix this would be to add a negative 700 to this offset milliseconds thing, and it sets the audio 700 milliseconds back. Now, next thing we should do is we should configure it. What I'm going to suggest is that we do HD 720 and allow 60 FPS. This will change that, and you'll see the difference. Now, if we go... And we look at what we have here. Another problem I seem to run into is when I try to run uh, 1080p with a frame rate of... Wait, can I not change the frame rate? Whoa, I can't change it because this is like this. I'm going to leave this at HD 1080 for now. We're just going to leave that. I can't change the resolution because I'm currently on the scene. That makes sense. But let's actually redo that and set that to 720. Now, it is trying to record in 720, but if you set but if it's trying to record in 720, your PS4 is still recording in 1080p. Now, that's because your PS4 is 1080p. Now I found a problem that the PS4 video would lag. Not not my game itself. The Elgato would lag whenever I set the settings to 1280 by 720, so that's 720p with a frame rate of 59.94, which is 60 FPS. Now if I enlarge this slightly, you'll see that we should go into the settings here and go into sound and screen. If we go into the video output settings and then to resolution and we turn it down to 720p, that will flash for a second with no signal. So give it a second. Now, if you're playing on a 
smallish monitor like I am, mine is a 24 inch monitor, you really won't see that much of a difference. Words might look a little pixely, but it won't be that much uh, of a difference and you won't suffer that much of a quality difference in terms of you viewing the video. Now this should fix basically all Elgato lag that we would have. The reasoning for this, what I think, is because it takes more power to downscale from 1080p to 720p, which is what you're recording, and this is why it would lag. So as you can see, I just enlarged it, and we have our stuff here. And it runs pretty smoothly. The quality won't be that bad, it'll be 720p. But it will be 60 FPS, which means it'll look very smooth. You won't be able to see that much of a difference on Twitch or in your recordings, and it'll just be 720p, 60 FPS. This would become helpful rather than the default Elgato capture program, because you can set your audio, and you're going to have to do this, you need to set your audio delay for your microphone to 700 milliseconds. Now, this is obviously automatically done in the Elgato program. The thing that is not done in the Elgato program is if you're playing music, and you want the music to be in sync with what you're hearing and what you're seeing for them, so if you start humming a song, it won't be all out of sync. It has an audio delay of 700 milliseconds. Also, say you're on like Skype or something with your friends and you want the people on the recording or Twitch stream to be able to hear those people. This would become simple and possible with XSplit and Elgato together. So all these solutions will help you be able to stream as well as record in 720p 60fps without your CPU taking that much of a hit and lagging your stream. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you. If it does, be sure to hit that like button. I always appreciate it, and also be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you guys, and see you next time. Peace!